definition of insanity to keep doing the same thing, hoping for a different outcome. Mm. England are testing that theory. They are testing it. Um, the opening partnership was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, the bowlers had given England the, the outside charts. I mean, the, the, the beginning of the run chase. Um, the, the, the odds or crick viz, win viz were saying something in the, along the lines of one in four. I mean, that in the history of the game, that's nonsense. It's, it's nowhere near that many for chasing scores of 270 above. But once you get off to a, a start like that, um, you know, the, the hope is that with the, the runs required reduced and uh, a little bit of adrenaline, and a little bit of a push, you can get over the line. Um, I was about to say that sort of, you know, the collapse came as a bit of a surprise, but it doesn't really, does it? Because um, the, these sorts of... Uh, quick losses of wickets uh, seem to dog this team wherever they go. I mean, they, they, they've managed, what, 86 and a bit overs for 20 wickets in, in this test match. Thoughts go back to, to the India trip, although, you know, the circumstances or pitches or whatever, perhaps um, a little, much, much different, but they bowled out 20 wickets in uh, less than 80 overs in Ahmedabad in one of those test matches in the four. It's just... <laughs> That they do not seem to be able to bat for any sort of length of time or withstand any amount of pressure. Um, and that was ghastly. It really was. I don't blame the bowlers for, for coming out there and having a swish. They, you know, the game is done. They've done their job in this test match. They've done their job in this series, really, in terms of the amount of times they've had to be bowling on the, set, on the, the next day and the next day and the next day. Batters just haven't been able to give them enough rest. Um, and, and that was the epitome of the way the tour's gone. It was, yeah. it was pretty pathetic in the end. It isn't just the here and now. I think since the start of last year in 33 test innings, they've passed 300 seven times. Yeah, you just don't win games of cricket with it. Oh. Um, the fact that we've lost 10 wickets in an hour and a half. Um, yes, the, the conditions are tough and you're going to say some, some good bowling, but... You know, there was n no resilience there. I said at the beginning of the game, actually, it's going to be a really hard week for them mentally because of about to l lose, you know, about to go home and you have all the, the thoughts about that. And as soon as they get put under pressure, you see how, how much resolve there is. They showed a lot in Sydney and, and probably they used it all there. It's, um, that was very, very tough viewing. Um, and if that's a, that has to be our rock bottom. Mm. There, there cannot be any, you know, a worse place in terms of getting bowled out in an hour and a half. OK, we've competed in this game with, with the ball. Um, we didn't quite get it all right. You know, 300 was, you know, they said 50 too many. You know, it's probably 100 too many, actually. And there might be that excuse of that ball and stuff. And they lost it for, for an hour or so. But, yeah, you know, I, I actually can't believe an hour and a half to lose 10 wickets. And, that, and that's the bit which, you know, I'm, as, a, as a batter and as a... You know, a, a, you know, a professional who plays games, you get bowled out in a session once or twice a career, almost. You know, and this, and this time, we almost said it after a couple of wickets, so, geez, something's on here. And you, yeah. and, and that, that, you can see a batting lineup devoid of all confidence and belief that, you know, that once you lose one wicket or two wickets, no one, no one seems at the moment to step up and stop that slide. And word, you can talk all you about, one about it in the dressing room, talk all you want until actually some people grab grab it by the, the scruff of the net, grab this team by the scruff of the net and move it for themselves. I can't see what's changing.